Ew, how ugly. This is no good. Thankfully, we have this custom visor cover to put up on it. Mm. How do you like them? I love them. And made by? Made by Alex. Or you, if you watch this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our fabric and figure out how big the pieces actually need to be. You wanna leave yourself a little bit of a lip so that when you fold it over, the whole thing is completely covered. So take that, cut your seam, and just make sure that you have enough lengthwise as well. So the next thing that we need to do is kind of pin around where our seams are gonna go. So obviously over here is the biggest challenge. The rest are pretty straightforward. So I hand stitched this whole seam here and then this whole seam here. So now I have an envelope, an inside out envelope, so that when you actually flip it right side out, you have a beautiful clean seam. So the next part of the project is gonna be closing these seams up. So I purchased some hook and eye um, Velcro tabs that you can sew on yourself. I only have enough for technically one, but I'm gonna make it work for two, so I need to kind of cut pieces. The other thing is that when I cut this, I didn't give myself enough fabric to really close these. Also, you're gonna want the Velcro in case this gets dirty, so you can easily take it on and off. So I'm gonna hand stitch this side closed and see how that goes. You don't want to pull the fabric too much, but you definitely want to make sure it's on. And then pin yourself into place. So now we just need to stitch this edge. You could stitch it with the board in here, whatever you find easiest. So I don't have any kind of like fancy um, anything. I'm doing this project on the floor. So you don't need anything fancy. Um, I've got regular thread here and I'm just doubling it up. So basically the thread is a complete loop. So it's two threads coming out of there. And then I'm gonna tie the two threads together at the bottom into a knot. And then double that knot up. Just to kind of give my thread a little bit more, I don't wanna say security, but strength halfway away from the stitch that we just made all the way through the fabric oops I got stuck on my pin and then coming back to where your stitch already was and then continuing that trend stitch this whole edge I'm gonna stitch it once and then stitch it back just so it's extra extra strong and then we're gonna move on I can easily get my one pocket in and then, you know, kind of easily uh, get this part over the bump. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And now our zipper is on. We need to cut off this excess fabric because it's just gonna make it impossible to shove it in there. Good, good, good. And then I'm gonna go straight up because I don't know what I'm gonna need for the next part of the project. And you'll see that by stitching it from the inside, you have this really clean edge around your corners. So you're not gonna see any fraying, nothing. And it almost doesn't even matter what color um, thread you use for the inside because you barely see it on the outside, like a little bit here and there. So don't use anything too crazy, but um, if it's not a perfect match, it won't really matter. All right, so to pin this, Fold it the way you want it to go. And then I've got my piece of Velcro, so I'm actually gonna pin the Velcro where I want it to go also. So because I'm leaving this hem like open a little bit, I want my Velcro to be right at the corner so it can grab the other corner. If you've ever worked with Velcro before or owned anything with Velcro on it, you know that there's two sides. There's a hook side and a loop side. So basically, you can kind of take this off of here and then just do the exact same thing on the other side. So you wanna match it up with the fold and then put your little piece of top curl on the other side. Where'd my scissors go? Now, the other thing, of course, because this is a square, you're gonna have to kind of at least stitch some of it on 
so luckily over here I have more of a seam so what I could actually do is do one stitch of just the velcro on this extra piece of fabric and then do the second stitch across the top to give me a nice clean finish okay I was tired of sitting on the floor so I've come up to a chair basically what I've done is stitched on the first four pieces of velcro so I'm quite sure that my velcros are in the right place but I don't know exactly where I need to stitch until so from this point on my velcros are on nice and closed oh, this is turning out so good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pin where I want to stop stitching so that I don't have to stitch it on here, which would be really awkward. Um, but I know exactly where I need to stop stitching so I don't hit this bar. So I'll make the mark here to kind of stop at that point so that I know that I need to put it back on here and then figure out where I'm going next. Basically for these top stitches, I'm not actually worrying about the security of the stitch so much. I want it to look nice because you're gonna see it from the outside. So what I've done, this, these two little stitches over here, I'm doing like a really simple, loose, kind of like one, one up, one under, one up, one under, one up, one under, just to kind of hold the seam in place because I'm not worried about doubling it up. But also like guys, I am not a professional and I'm doing this all by hand. It doesn't matter what these look like and what the under seams look like because nobody's going to see them, so who cares? The only seam that actually matters is the one that we're doing now. That's a super simple one up, one down, one up, one down, one up, down, down. Like you're snaking it through the fabric. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> so perfect. So now, all I have to do is this top stitch here, so this last piece. Again, I didn't give myself enough fabric. Give yourself enough fabric. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pin it to where I think it needs to go. I need to give myself a tiny little bit of a lip so that I have something to kind of hide my seams with. And I might actually need to uh, stitch the Velcro so that it pops out the top a little bit. Cause see right now, with even just that little bit of a lip, it like just barely reaches the other side. I'm gonna continue this little seam here, and then this side I can just go straight ahead and make that edge. So do the edge all the way across, do the edge on the other side all the way across, and then figure out where you want your Velcros. So all I'm doing is flipping the seam and then pinning across from where I'm gonna be sewing my stitch so that I can keep that nice straight line the whole way across. But so I'm gonna stitch it so that the Velcro is kind of coming off of it so that it can grab each other. If I put this one up and this one down, I can reach this over and close it on top, which is unfortunately what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> yeah, this is my like third outfit change in this video, probably. Okay, so you gotta slip the side on first that you sewed shut and then pull the side up. We're gonna hook and loop over. So put the hooks down and then pull the loops over. Oops, now pull the hooks. And then you can't even tell! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Now the only other thing that I want to do is stitch on this little pocket. Uh, most visors usually have like a slip where you can put things. So all I did for this, when I cut this piece of fabric out, there was like a patch left over that was basically this size. And I thought, oh that looks the perfect size of a pocket. So I stitched the seam, it's like two pieces stitched it down, and then I folded the top over and stitched it down. I did a fun little up-down stitch there. Again, not perfect, who gives a shoot? And then just make sure you know which side your visor flips on. So for example, is this the driver or the passenger side? So I'm gonna wanna put the patch on this inside so that when it flips up, it's completely hidden, and then when it flips down, it'll be up like that. Okay guys, that's how you make these custom visor covers. They are super cute and they are totally customizable to you, whatever fabric you want. Really easy to put together, really easy to put on and off. Just a couple Velcro tabs and some easy stitching. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got more van life conversion DIYs coming up, including window covers. Don't spend $1,200 on window covers. Watch the next video. See you guys there. Bye.